Teens, welcome back to Feast at Home for Light Teens. Yay! And today, this afternoon, we want to declare that Jesus is the center of our life. Amen? Let's sing it out loud. center of the
Di dalam nama Bapa, Putra, dan Roh Kudus. Amin. Yes, Lord, Heavenly Father. Yes, you are the center of our life. Thank you, Father, that you continue guiding us through this worship. And now, Father, we want to open our heart for your words, Father, that will be given to us this afternoon. Guide us, Father, bimbing kami dalam setiap sesi ini, Bapa, dan biarlah kami boleh semakin menjadi semakin seperti Engkau, semakin mendekat kepada Engkau, dan semakin serupa dengan Engkau. Dan biarlah semua ini demi kemuliaan kepada Bapa, Putra, dan Roh Kudus. Seperti pada permulaan sekarang selalu dan sepanjang segala abad. Amin. Di dalam nama Bapa, Putra, dan Roh Kudus. Amin. Hello, welcome to Feast at Home Teens here in Feast Jakarta. My name is Jan and I'm from the Philippines. Hello po. Hello to everybody. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that everybody is healthy and safe. May the Lord continue to bless you, protect you, and heal you in this pandemic. And I really hope to see you very, very soon. Uh, my dear friend, Bella. Bella, hello, <laughs> invited me to give a very short message to you. Uh, but before I give the short message, I want to honor your feast builders. I want to honor all of the servants. Thank you. In the Philippines, we say it, salamat po. Salamat means thank you. Salamat, salamat to everything that you're doing. And, and I love your key message for us today. It is to share your faith. With your everyday life. I love it so much to share your faith with your everyday life. And my talk title is this, Loud and Clear. Can you help me type it in the comments, please? Loud and Clear. It's how actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. So before we go to the word, let's come into prayer. Let's welcome the Lord in our hearts today. Father in heaven, I lift up to you all of my concerns. I lift up to you my day-to-day -day life. Speak to us, Lord. May we be Jesus to others. May we be Jesus to our family. May we be Jesus to our friends and to our schoolmates and to our community. And all of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 1 John 13, 18, it says there, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Dear, children's, dear, dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. So for today, I have three invitations for you. And I hope that in each invitation, I want you to reflect. This won't just be a talk coming from me. But I want you to have a deep reflection in your heart as well today. In each and every topic that I will share. In each and every invitation that I will share. May you reflect in your heart what can be applied to me. Because I want to be Jesus in my everyday life. Again, how can my actions speak louder than our words? Number one is this, okay? Act with love each day. Act with love each day. One of my favorite verse, if not the most favorite verse in my life, is 1 Corinthians 16, 14. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. It says there, do everything in love. Do everything in love. The moment you wake up until you sleep, do it because you love. When you, when you uh, study, do it because you love. When you deal with your parents, you do it because you love. And I remember entering the, uh, serving the Lord at a very young age, entering the church, actually serving at the Mass as a 10-year-old boy. I just, I just love to serve in, in any way that I can. It can. I can be the main server or I can be just somebody that will ring the bell or somebody that would prepare the altar, would prepare the, the, 
the chalice. But I was just willing. I I'm just willing to serve. Why? Because I'm a servant. And then act with love each day. So a- anyway, uh, I graduated being an altar boy. Then I was invited in the youth ministry. And by the way, I was invited in the youth ministry not because I wanted to be there. No, <laughs> because. <laughs> I had a crush on a girl. That's it. <laughs> I had a crush on a girl. So I went to the prayer meeting because of my crush. And then in the youth ministry, I serve each day as I can. I serve every week, fixing chairs, carrying things, fixing the cables, preparing the music equipment. Why? Because I just love to serve. And then it came to you know, it came to the time. That uh, I was blessed to be part of Light of Jesus family. I was invited by Brother Bo Sanchez to become a feast builder for one of the cities here in the Philippines. You know what I did? <laughs> Continued to serve, <laughs> to act daily with love, to fix chairs. And, and I'm there early. For example, if our feast is at 7.30 p.m. on a Tuesday night, I'm there at 5 o'clock p.m. Why? Five o'clock, I'm there. I'm one of the earliest. Why? Because I just love to serve. I love fixing chairs. I love fixing cables. I love preparing everything so that when, when, when people come, it's already set. Now, it's online. It's feast at home. It's this kind of setup. What am I trying to do? No more chairs to set up, but creating videos like this. Collecting funds for us to buy in- instruments and and do the necessary things to serve you online. What's my point, dear brothers and sisters? Serve. That's it. Serve. And by the way, this attitude of serving goes beyond not only in ministry. It goes beyond myself. It goes beyond in serving my wife. See, I'm I'm married now for about. Two years, <laughs> and uh, it will be three years. Uh, I think I'm three years already. Sorry if my wife is listening. <laughs> I'm bad with numbers. Anyway, we were married February 18. Uh, sorry, February 1, 2018. See, so many wrong here. Anyway, February 1, 2018. Uh, thank you, Lord, that my wife is not watching this. Anyway, <laughs> and from day one, I just love my wife. I just love my wife. I serve my wife. I serve her every day and have never stopped serving her each and every day. You know, I pray your youth, your teens, I pray that someday if you will decide for somebody to marry, don't only marry for the looks. <laughs> your looks will grow old. <laughs> but marry because you love. And if you see a life with this person serving this person, loving this person, most especially if this person is unlovable, serve. Then I want to honor my wife, of course. She, she's a wedding coordinator. And because of the wedding industry is not, <laughs> is, is, you know, the weddings are canceled here in the Philippines because of the pandemic. So she continued to earn money, continued to serve by selling food online. Then I see her, what? Bathing our children. I see her cook for us. She makes sure that the house is in order. She loves me. And guess what? She loves her parents. We send them food. If, if ever somebody is sick, we, we send them to the hospital. She loves serving. Find a spouse. <laughs> if ever you'll be married someday, find a spouse that just loves Jesus and loves to serve. That's it. And and I love to serve her. I love to serve her. I try my very best to make her happy each day, to be loyal to her, to be faithful to her. And you know what? Not only my wife, I love serving my children. I have three boys. First is an 11-year-old. Second is a two-year-old. A third is a six-month-old, five to six-month-old uh, baby. And uh, Mateo, uh, Javi, and Julio. For Mateo, he's in school right now. I'm doing my best, okay, in helping him uh, with his online studies. <laughs> it's very hard to study online, but I'm there to help him in any little way that I can. 
for Javi and Julio since they are little boys. I I set a time in the day to serve them, to love them. These amazing boys. Why? Because I love them. But this service goes beyond, again, my family. It goes beyond ministry and uh, serve. Act with love daily. Why? Because serving is not what we do. Serving is who we are. And guess what? Those who are the happiest are those who do the most for others. So do things for others. Serve like Jesus. Number two is this. After you act with love each day, number two, create meaningful relationships. Create meaningful relationships. I love what Mother Teresa said. She said in one of her many, many quotes, she said, If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. <laughs> so sometimes we're so focused on how to change the world. But changing the world is really going home and loving the people around you. Loving the family that you have. Serving the family that you have. And stop complaining and choosing to love them each day. Remember this, dear teens, that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. My point is this. Don't miss the chance to love someone today. Don't miss the chance to love someone today. And again, what Mother Teresa said, I love it that let us always meet each other with a smile. Smile. Come on, smile right now. Why? <laughs> For the smile is the beginning of love. Smile is the beginning of love. I remember I had an office mate before. And every day when he goes to work, every day when he goes to work, uh, my our work was we are a part of a call center industry before before you know before I became a office builder I worked in different IT companies for many years. My first job is working at the call center industry, helping Americans connect to the internet, helping our customers connect to the internet. And anyway, of course, people will call us because there's a problem with their internet. But my friend. <laughs> My office mate, every day that when he comes to work, every day, he's always mad. Every day, he's always mad at our customers. He's always mad at our boss. He's always mad at me. I even, I'm not doing anything to him. He's just mad. And then one day, uh, my boss messaged me, sent me a private message and said, Jan, can you please talk to Jeff? Okay, <laughs> I revealed his name. Can you please talk to Jeff? So I go, boss, why? Why do I have to talk to Jeff? It's very stressful. I, I told my boss, boss, <laughs> you're the boss. Talk to Jeff, not me. Then my boss said, <laughs> Jan, you're the one attending prayer meetings, right? You're the one closer to God. <laughs> talk to Jeff. Okay, fine. See, if your boss used Jesus against you, you have to follow. <laughs> so anyway, I, I asked Jeff, Jeff, can we have lunch? Can we have lunch? And I remember. Just being close to him, knowing his story, hearing his story. I learned. I learned. That's why he stressed because I learned that, you know, every time he goes to work, uh, he and his wife, uh, they, they have the same shift at work, both at night. By the way, if you're a call center agent, our shift is at night. So because, you know, it, in the States, it's, it's morning. So there's lots of calls and lots of work in the morning. It's evening here in the Philippines. So we're the night shifters. And then when he goes to work, he needs to leave. Uh, he needs to leave his uh, son, who's nine year old, and a daughter, who's just you know five months old back then. And that's why he's very stressed because he's thinking of his children every time. And they had no maids. They have no helpers. Uh, it was, it was a difficult time for him. And that's why I told him, you know what, Jeff? If ever I'll be morning shift, which happens once in, you know, once in one month, <laughs> let's shift our places. I'm going to go to the, the night shift. If, for example, if, if there's an opportunity for me to go to a morning shift, you, I'll, I'll switch with you. Sure, let's switch. You go to the morning, I'm going to the night shift. He said, Can you, will, you, will you do that? 
of course I want to do that. I mean, I'm, I was just 20 years old back then. I had so much energy. I had so much joy. I just love it. Go. And then this is what, I, what else I did. I went to each and every office mate, asking them, pleading them to switch places with Jeff just in case their, their shift, uh, you know, by chance goes to the morning shift them to the evening so that Jeff can go to the morning. And and I realized, you know, when I started doing that, uh my my office mates started to, okay to agree with me. And then Jeff was so happy in the morning. Why? Because he loves his shift and he gets to get uh she he gets to go home on time for dinner to meet his uh to to be with his children and uh, you know what in the office <laughs> We were so happy in the night shift. Why? Because Jeff was not there. <laughs> what am I trying to say? All relationships, dear friends, all relationships have one law. Never make the one you, you love feel alone, especially when you're there. Especially when you're there. You know what? This video setup I'm doing right now, this is, you know, this is, I'm in my parents' house right now. Uh, this video setup, this is nice and peaceful and quiet. But guys, before you, before to set this up, it's really a lot of work. And I had to move stuff. I had to figure out what lights to use. And I'm, I just want to honor my brother for helping me out. And, and I had to tell Mateo, Mateo, you have to go to sleep. I had to tell Javi, hey, you have to go to sleep. And Julio, you know, he's five months. He doesn't really care. Anyway. <laughs> In in your relationship, dear brothers and sisters, you have two choices. Either to complain or to be grateful. Either you complain or you can be grateful. And here's the truth. The more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. The more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. So please, create meaningful relationships. And third and last is this, to treat each other with kindness. Treat each other with kindness. Romans 12, then it says there, love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Outdo one another in showing honor. You know what? I had a chance, I had a privilege to, to give a team building to to a group of doctors here in the Philippines, they every day they face COVID. Uh, you know, every day they somebody dies, and some of their colleagues dies, some of their co-doctors dies. But you know, they they also have some people getting cured. So I had a chance to serve them. I had a chance to give a very short. Uh, team building with them. And one of my questions is this. One of my questions is, doctors, we've been in this pandemic for about one year already. I gave this last year. And I asked them, Doc, what was your greatest realization in this pandemic? What was your greatest realization in this pandemic? And the medical director of that hospital raised her hand and said, Jan, my greatest realization is this, that I was born to do this. That I was born to do this. And I was amazed, actually. I was shocked because she goes to work each day with that full heat gear, uh, full PPE, uh, and then with a face mask, with you know how many face masks? I think 10, and then you have a face shield, and you're sweating all over, and then your colleagues are dying. People are dying. You're a frontliner and you're in that hospital. And then your greatest realization is that you were born to do this. Friends, what were you born to do? And I believe that you were born to love. You are born to love. Find that out. And how can you love each day? Is it is it by giving out your talent? Is it is it serving your mother? Is it is it serving? Is it graduating on time? Is it is it being a better student? Is it a 
building you know, a better ministry. The meaning of life is to find your gift. But the purpose of life is to give it away. The meaning of life is to find your gift. But the purpose of life is to give it away. Dear friends, let me end with this quote from Mother Teresa. That intense love does not measure. It just gives. It just gives. And we don't know until when this pandemic will be. We don't know. But what we know is that we can love someone today. We can share a beautiful post today. We can complain less today. We can sin less today. And we can love more each day. Amen? And of course, let's continue to pray to Jesus each day. Let's continue to ask for wisdom. Ask us, Lord, what do you want me to do today? Even if it's hard to pray. And pray, my dear brothers. Actually, pray the hardest. When it's hardest to pray. And when prayer becomes a habit, miracles will be a way of life. So what do we have? Number one, act with love each day. Number two, create meaningful relationships. And number three, treat each other with kindness. So what do we have? A, A, C, create, T, Treat. So A C T. Act. Act. Act with love each day. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, I lift up to you, my brothers and sisters, who's listening to me right now. And may this simple message bring life to their hearts today. Bless us, Lord. Help us to love each day. Help us to serve one another. Before we go out to friends and families, let us reflect inside our house. How can we serve our parents? How can we serve our siblings? How can we serve each other today? This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. God bless you. so much brother Jan Silan for sharing this message today teman-teman boleh dong kita kasih shout out di kolom comment and say thank you brother Jan so much love from Indonesia to the Philippines wow teman-teman gimana kalian sangat diberkati nggak dengan pesan hari ini masih inget kan ada tiga invitation for you to do today so we can share about Jesus in your daily life So, buat teman-teman yang diberkati, boleh dong kalian bisa share video ini ke teman-teman kalian Dan juga jangan lupa di like, boleh juga kirim komen dan juga subscribe ke LOJF Indo YouTube channel, oke? Okay? Dan teman-teman aku juga mau ingetin kalau kita akan ketemu lagi minggu depan di bulan Mei Dengan topik yang baru, dengan tema yang baru dan pasti akan membuat kita selalu bertumbuh di dalam Tuhan So please come again next week for this feast at home for light teens Have a blessed day, have a blessed weekend guys Bye bye